The universe did not arise from the Big Bang by chance. Life is an ongoing creative explosion of love. In the physical realms at present, the explosive nature is readily apparent, but the presence of love is not as clearly visible, felt, or experienced. However, this is changing. Many who have been unsure, in doubt about love, its presence and its meaning are growing in awareness that it is the only sane way with which to engage with life and with others, insofar as there truly are no others, there is only one. It is becoming clear to many millions that the physical environment in which you live your human lives is not, and never could be, disconnected from even one of you, and that your complete interdependence needs to be recognized, welcomed, and honored. What you have perceived, in this modern age since the Industrial Revolution, as resources to be mined, harvested, tamed and controlled solely for the benefit of humanity, or of certain more valuable groups of humans is finally being widely recognized as insatiable greed. And many are now building organizations to honor the planet, treat her with the respect that she deserves, and to avail of the abundant harvests that she offers you, and has offered you for as long as you have been on Earth, in a manner that honors all life fully so that the abundance of Earth's various resources may be wisely and generously availed of for the benefit of all. The lack of general awareness of your oneness is the reason that conflicts arise so easily and frequently, not only with other nations but also within social, political or religious communities and within families. Where people are aware that there is only and always oneness, peace prevails. When you engage or interact with others lovingly, peace and harmony result, even though differing opinions and viewpoints are present. The non-existent state of separation, the dream or illusory state of physicality in which you experience your human lives is a wonderful opportunity for you all to evolve spiritually. And those of you presently incarnate chose to be on earth now in order to evolve and progress spiritually and a very important point to assist all of humanity to do likewise leading inevitably to the grand collective awakening. There are no accidents or coincidences, the universe did not arise from the Big Bang by chance. You, God's only Son, constructed it to experience separation from God and independence from God because your free will, freely and lovingly bestowed upon you at the moment of your creation, wished to discover if such a state could exist and what it would be like to experience that state. Consequently you have for eons been experiencing that illusory state of separation, not only from Mother Father God, but also from each other, no matter how intimately involved you may be with another or others. You have found that separation is a very confusing state to be in because it produces uncertainty, and uncertainty causes fear. Your egos delight in fear because it makes it far easier for them to hold your attention and direct your thoughts, words, and actions. During your absolutely essential daily periods of quietness at the depths of your being, remind yourselves that, being the perfect divine creations that you most assuredly are, you are eternally worthy of God's love, and that He offers it to you unceasingly. What happens is that your egos loudly and vociferously do their best to encourage your fear and direct your thoughts to mostly quite unlikely what-if scenarios to keep you in an almost constant state of anxiety. When you are quietly at peace, they feel extremely threatened and do their utmost to disturb you, and all of you have experienced that, when being quiet, as suddenly your roof brain chatter bursts into your awareness, and things that you do need to attend to suddenly become extremely urgent. An effective attempt at egoic distraction has just succeeded. Life is not urgent. It has never been urgent, but the human collective has chosen to make it appear urgent. If this task or that one is not completed on schedule, inexorable and unpleasant, even dangerous consequences will occur, and it will be your fault. That is no way to live, and attempting to live in that manner makes it impossible to have a peaceful and contented life. Instead it leads to conflict, even with those you love most dearly. Take your time, because you have chosen and continue to choose to experience separation, and remember the time is an aspect of the illusory or dream state that you are engaging with as humans, and that everyone, without exception, experiences it differently, and individually. Separation is a state in which you each have your own totally complete experience of what it means to be human, to be separated from Source. Of course there are similarities between you all, and you all experience the need to survive and the fear of death. Nevertheless, that state, as you have been told so often, is unreal. 
and still you allow yourselves to believe that it is real, and continue to engage with all others in that unreal state. Thus conflict and powerful disagreement continually arise to provoke you into unloving behaviors. Notwithstanding that, an attack or an unloving response is always a cry for love. Love is your nature, and yet vast numbers of you dismiss love as weak, and believe that it is dangerous to trust its heart-centered guidance as you go about your daily lives. You believe that you need defenses against others who are untrustworthy and are attempting to deceive you, others who will take advantage of you whenever the opportunity arises. This mistrust of others, yourselves, has been a self-fulfilling belief for Ian's, especially when combined with the competitive nature of political, economic, and religious organizations that are permanently seeking to expand their own organizations, by denigrating those with whom they are in permanent disagreement and competition. It has always been a recipe for disaster, as they have used propaganda and deceit to justify wars, to destroy those with whom they either disagree, or whose territory they wish to steal and control. This is clearly shown in your world history. Now, in this very moment, the only time that exists, the human collective is choosing to change the illusory nightmare into a pleasant and loving dream from which it will awaken. Love is the energy that is guiding and directing your awakening, as more and more of you are coming to an awareness of the absolute futility of non-loving life philosophies, and to a deep understanding that love lived, expressed, and demonstrated by each individual is the way forwards, lovewards, to a peaceful and harmonious world in which all can and will thrive. This essential awareness is spreading very rapidly throughout the world, leading ever more of humanity to embrace loving kindness, as they release their fearful need to be right by proving others wrong. That exceedingly divisive way of living is now seen to be what it is, a destructive force that inevitably leads to disaster. Love is your true nature, and you are becoming aware of this divine truth. Delight in this truth, celebrate this truth, and know that you are indeed awakening. The momentum of your awakening is utterly unstoppable. With so very much love, Saul, 